Hello everyone, it's Travis with CoCab, Watch Collectors of California and Beyond, with another full watch review. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Vario 1945 D12 Raven Black Field Watch. This is a beautiful watch. It's made in remembrance of the Dirty Dozen watches from World War II, following a lot of the same specs. Just an absolutely fantastic timepiece that we'll uh, look at together. This comes from the Singapore brand of Vario, which is founded by Ivan Chua in 2016. Uh, this watch also comes in sandy or sand beige, I'd say, army green and shadow gray. So we're doing a co-cab review, and what makes a co-cab review different is we look at the characteristics, the operations, the cool and unique features, the accessibility, which is both the price and the availability, and then brand offerings and other info. So we'll jump right into the characteristics on this watch. As I mentioned, it is heavily inspired by the Dirty Dozen. For those that don't know, that's a collection of uh, Swiss and British watches that were commissioned and worn by the British military in World War II. And they all had classic features they had to conform to, which included uh, black dials, the railroad style minute tracks, you can see right here on this one. By the way, I just love that dial. You can kind of see the texture to it and how it catches the light. Um, they had to have luminous hands and indexes, easy grip crowns, small seconds movements, and you can see all of that right here on this watch. I've been wearing this watch for the last several days and have really enjoyed it. Um, side note, this watch follows on the heels of Vario's World War I trench watch, which was also very popular, so you can check that out on their website. Uh, basic specs on this, it is about 10 and a half millimeters thick, so it's... Uh, Fairly thin, weight is just 65 grams. Diameter is about 37 millimeters. 44.8, I think they say 45, but I measured it, I think it's closer to 44.8 millimeters on lug to lug. And it is water resistant to 10 atmospheres. Does come with a warranty of two year global warranty. So that's nice. Uh, the dial is a black matte and grain texture dial with the classic railroad style uh, tracks around the outside perimeter. You've also got the nice triangle there at 12 o'clock. Uh, it is signed with an embossed logo under the 12 o'clock. It doesn't get in the way of the design. There, I'll get the light just so you can see it perfect. But it really just, I think it's a nice touch to the, to the watch there. Very, very legible dial. Easy to tell the time at a quick glance. The hands you can see, the minute and hour are all syringe style, yellow, loomed, and centrally positioned. The seconds is a small seconds at six o'clock, and it is not loomed. The indices are five minute yellow markers with one minute divisions. Again, the key to these watches was that they would be easy to read and not get confusing. And so I think this watch really pulls it off very well. The loom is a dual color loom. Let me see if I can light that up here for you. So you've got basically the numbers in that light blue. Everything else in it is a yellowish green. It looks a little more green in the, the light, but when it's actually looming afterwards, it's more on the yellow side. Uh, the blue is the BGW9. The yellow is the C3 on the minute second hands and then the five minute indices, the 12 o'clock and the loomed crown, which yes, I gotta show you the loomed crown. That's another really cool feature on this watch. So. I love that you've got the V right there. Nice uh, nice little extra touch. So the bezel is beautiful. I wanna kinda of just look at it real closely. So you can kinda of see it's a fixed bezel, but it's got the chamfered edge on it and it catches the light and just looks, looks fantastic. And then you'll see that also on the lugs. You can notice the, the little chamfered edge there. And so as you move this watch, the light kind of streaks up and down the side of it and catches there on those chamfered edges. So I really like that. I think it's a great look. Nice side profile, beautiful watch. The crystal is a flat sapphire with inner AR coated or applied. Case is all brushed 316L stainless steel, as well as the case back. The crown again is a screw down at the, it's about a four and a quarter position, which gives it a little uniqueness. I think it's, Four o'clock, I think, is what they say. But if you look at it closer, it's more of like a four and a quarter. And I really like that, actually. 
We saw already the Loom V, that's pretty cool. It's about 6.4 millimeters in diameter, approximately 24 grooves and decent grip, and then signed with that V there. Uh, the lugs, we looked at them already, but a couple other things, they are drilled. Also, I do wanna show you, there are quick release straps, which make it so nice. This watch actually came on another strap, and it's so nice to just quickly and easily change it out with no tools at all. I preferred on this strap, this is the leather strap, and I think that gray, and even the stitching you can see really goes well with the indice color. So just a fantastic job with the, the stitching and the strap matching the watch itself. Let's look at the, the case back. Oh, and as we do that, the lug width, by the way, is 18 millimeters, and then it tapers down a little bit, a little under 16 it looks like when I measured it. All right, the case back is 316L stainless steel. Now this is kind of cool. You can see here that you've got a British soldier juxtaposed with a modern Singapore soldier. And this is a reference to one of the, the battles from World War II, the Battle of Singapore, where British forces actually mounted a defense of Singapore against the Japanese army. And what's cool about this is Vario is a Singapore-based brand, so it kind of ties it all together, and I think that's a really cool aspect uh, of this watch. One thing to, to mention, if you want an empty case back uh, and have it laser engraved to whatever you want, that is available too at a slightly additional cost. And around the outer edge, it says automatic, sapphire, Singapore, 10 atmosphere, stainless steel, and 1945. All right, moving on to the strap. You can see there genuine Italian leather. Feels good, it's nice and supple. I have a little bit larger than eight inch wrists and this strap just barely fits on the last hole for me. So as long as your eight inches are under, you should be fine. Uh, anything over that, it probably would not fit. Again, it is the quick release. Uh, it does have a double keeper, one fixed and one movable. I actually moved the movable one here because that was the only way that I could wear it and uh, have it actually work. So. Um, the second strap also included fits about a seven and a half to eight inch wrist as well. The buckle you can see is polished and signed there with Vario. So that's pretty cool. Packaging, let me go ahead and set the watch down for a second. And as I do that, I did want to mention what it originally was sitting in. This is also by Vario. It did not come with the watch. You can get this separate on their website, but I just thought it was really cool. I wanted to share it since I was doing a Vario watch, but the horologically certified watch geek Great place to just kind of put your watch-related stuff, uh, whatever you want. But just wanted to share that's something also available on the website. All right, here's the packaging it comes in. This is kind of the classic Vario. You can see it's signed there. Zippered, protective watch case. Works real good, keeps it protected. Uh, no complaints there at all. All right, let's look at the, the operations or talk a little bit about them. So this has the Miyota 82S5 automatic and hand winding. Uh, it has also a, a gilted movement, which you can't see, but if you took the, the case back off, you could. Hacking seconds, 21,600 vibrations per hour, about a 40 hour power reserve and 21 joules. So now experiences with this watch, overall, I gotta say, I really, really liked this watch a lot. Uh, setting the time, I'm just kind of do it with you here using the four o'clock crown. It's about four uh, screws. It's really, really easy, just nice and smooth, very little give before it engages the hands. So I like that. And then when you screw it back down, again, super easy, right about four, maybe four and a half turns and it's in. Uh, winding feels great. There's almost no crown wobble. Putting on and taking it off, um, it was great. The, the other strap, I struggled a bit. This one, it's easy on, easy off, no problem. And then changing the straps again, just incredibly simple with the, the easy release or the quick release. All right, so what could be improved? The only thing I would say that really could be improved would be a slightly longer strap. I know I have large wrists, but they're not abnormally large. So something that would fit at least eight and a half inches or so would, would be perfect. Uh, nitpicking, if I had to, I would say Loom could last a bit longer. It's really beautiful and I love the dual color, but it doesn't last as long as what I would like to see. And then as is true on most watches, if you really get close up, like macro photography, the printing is not perfect. It's not as crisp and clear as what it could be. Nothing you're really gonna notice by the naked eye and you can just see looking at it, just what a gorgeous watch it is. So 
Love that. Uh, the other thing is it's 37 millimeters, so just know that. Some of you will love that. Some of you may not. Um, it, I think, looks fine on my wrist. Uh, different people have different opinions on that, but just know it is a 37 millimeter. So, all right, cool and unique and what I love. First of all is that four and a quarter crown. I always love different things because once you have a good collection of watches, it's just nice to have something that's a little bit unique and that's definitely unique. The loomed crown, another nice touch, I love that. The dual color loom, that's cool. Probably the neatest thing of all is just the Dirty Dozen influence. If you've never done this, you should probably do a search and, and just kind of read up on the Dirty Dozen. Look on eBay even for Dirty Dozen watches. You'll see a, a resemblance, of course, they all look different, but there was about a dozen watches that rose to the challenge, or I should say a dozen manufacturers that rose to the challenge to make watches for the British Army, and uh, really, really good examples from history that you can check out and, and see there. So I love the Dirty Desert influence. I like, again, that embossed logo at 12 o'clock that you hardly even see, but just a nice subtle addition there that doesn't hurt the aesthetics of the dial. I like the case back and the touch of history there, and even how it brings it home to the Singapore brand today. Quick release straps, talked about that already. The chamfered lugs, again, love that, love the look of those. Uh, the nice contrast between the polished and the brushed surfaces, and then the six o'clock small seconds. I love small seconds, so I'm kind of a sucker for those, but this one is just done really, really well. Just works great on the dial uh, of that watch. So those are all the things that I love. Uh, now moving on to accessibility. I kind of like to think of affordability and availability, and right now this watch is available on the website for $368 which I think is amazing with all the features that this watch has, automatic, great movement, great looks, great touch of history. So I think that's a great price. Check it out. There's a lot of other watches on the website and that is just vario.sg. So check them all out. Please put in your comments, any uh, questions or things you'd like me to check out further on the next review that I do. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.